Hey everybody, what's up? Chris here with Stow Cartel. Um, we're just going to talk about a pretty common issue we've been hearing these days, and that's with these new uh, front pint sensors and even a lot of the XR sensors. Um, it seems that a lot of people are having trouble getting them to engage. Um, you know, depending whether they have Kraft and Ride grip tape, original grip tape, um, it really doesn't seem to matter. There, there seems to be quite a few issues with the board just not engaging. Um, you know, case in point, I just got my brand new Pint X here a couple days ago. Um, I've been ripping it around, but lo and behold, I have come to find out that there's some footwear that works and some that unfortunately just don't on the Pint. Um, whereas on my XR, you know, same shoes, no issues really. Um, maybe except a little more when it's colder as I do have the thicker Kraft and Rye grip tape, which I do have on this board as well. Uh, with that being said, um, you know, we'll just, a uh, little demonstration here. Turn the board on, uh, this side works, this side works, this zone works. You know, you can check all your zones independently. Um, then you do them together, they both come on, your board works. So, I mean, there you have it. The foot pad's not bad, um, and I've ridden the board plenty without it, so, you know, that's not the issue. Um, but what I have come to find is that, you know, there's just certain footwear, especially for the people that have, let's say, size probably 10 and up shoe, um, as you tend to hang off the edge a little bit, as I wear a size 12. Um, so my feet hang off the edge on both sides just a tad, um, which probably doesn't help with the sensors engaging as you know you don't have the pressure in the right spots at the time. But with that being said, let's go through some of the different footwear and uh, what I have found that works for now. Okay, so for the comparison of footwear on this test, uh, I use six different pair of shoes that I normally ride with, except for the Reebok uh, trainers. Those I usually just wear, you know, for work or running errands and crap like that. But, so let's start off. We got your classic Vans skate shoe, nice flat bottom. Um, this is a slip-on version, obviously. We got our Reebok trainer shoes. Um, they also happen to have a pretty flat bottom. Um, then we have New Balance skate shoes. Again, flat bottom. Nike skate shoes. Again, flat bottom. Um, the Nikes and the New Balances are pretty flexible, whereas the Vans are more stiff and thick on the bottom. Um, same with the Reeboks. Then we have our uh, Globe skate shoes. Again, pretty stiff bottom, flat. Last but not least, we have the DC Woodland Boots. Big clunky treads. Who knows, right? So I guess uh, let's compare these things with, uh, I'm gonna do a couple mounts and see what happens and what reacts the best and engages the board. Um, let's see the outcome.
So, after trying out six new pairs of footwear on the One Wheel Pint, um, it's pretty clear to me that either A, you go barefoot, or B, you wear the boots or some kind of shoe that has some kind of tread or lug on the bottom. Um, that seemed, from my testing anyway, to be the absolute best shoe to give me no problems with uh, engagement on the pint foot pad. Those are the only two pairs of foot pair or footwear, sorry, that I did not have any issues while mounting the board. Um, all other pairs of shoes. I had issues. Now there were some pairs of shoes such as the Reebok um, Cross Trainer Athletic shoes that did work a little bit better. It, I still had issues. Um, it would still cut out on me. So there's that. Um, I would rather wear a shoe that I know is going to engage my foot pad every time so I can trust it. Um, with that being said, unfortunately, to me, that's going to leave the skate shoes that I normally wear on my XR out of the equation for this moment. Um, I'm going to try some other things. You guys can drop some comments down below if you've got some, you know, other suggestions or I've seen other people, you know, do furniture sliders on their foot pad or even the fish bones. Um, or maybe the concave bumpers from 3D Way. Um, let me know what you guys think or what works good for you because as I know and you know this has been you know a common issue and maybe we will get a set of shirt stance uh, the wooden pint pads and see how those compare to the stock plastic see if we have the same kind of issues with shoes or if it's back to normal um, so that'll be for another time until then have a good one and float safe, everybody. Mm -hmm.